I've been learning how to build charts with map layers recently, and I came across a way to build a waffle chart that is simpler than any other way I've done it before. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a waffle chart with map layers. Let's get started. We're going to connect to Superstore. So choose Connect to Data, More, and I'm going to choose my Superstore data source. Click on Open and we're gonna drag the orders table over to the right hand side. I'm gonna now add another connection, choose more, and this time I'm gonna use my waffle chart template. Click on open, and we're gonna drag the waffle sheet to the right hand side. It's very important now that we set up our relationships properly. What we're trying to do is we're trying to create a hundred dots or a hundred marks, one for each percent up to a hundred, for each record in the orders table. So to do that, we're gonna create a relationship calculation. So under the orders, go ahead and choose create relationship calculation. And I'll just put a string there. It doesn't really matter what you put in there. I'm gonna add one. And then same thing on the right hand side for the waffle, choose create relationship calculation. And one, it has to be the same. Click on okay. And what you could do down here in the performance options, if we go down to the cardinality, we know that the values in the waffle connection are unique. So I'm going to change this to one. Everything else I'm going to leave the same. So you can see I've got one row for each percentage from zero to 100. So let's go to the sheet. And I want my column, my percentage, and my row to all be dimensions because I don't want to aggregate them by default. So I'm going to highlight them and then right click and convert them to a dimension. Now a typical waffle chart, the way we would do it is we would drag column to the column, uh, row to the rows, and we get something that looks like a waffle chart. But we want to do it with map layers because it gives us a bit more flexibility on the look and feel of it. We're going to look at the percent of total sales for each region. So let's drag region to the rows and let's go ahead and create a calculated field that is our percent of total sales. And this is going to be the sum of sales divided by the total of the sum of sales. So the sum, and I'm gonna add in here a level of detail expression that's going to return the total sum of sales. So the uh, level of detail expression without any uh, declaratives in it, like fixed include or exclude, that's just gonna return the total. So this is returning the total sum of sales, and then I need to aggregate it because my numerator is also aggregated. Now I'm gonna go ahead and round this to two decimal places because I want my percentages to match up with the percentages in my waffle chart template, right? So those go zero to 100, so I want that to be the same there. So click on okay. And let's go ahead and while we're there, set up our default number format. I'll send it to a percentage to zero decimals. Great, and we drag that onto the text region. I'm gonna leave this here for reference so that we know that our map is working correctly. So let's go to a new sheet. And now we need to create a point for each individual percentage. And this is where map layers come in. So I'm going to create a new calculated field. And I will call this my waffle point. And I'm going to use Tableau's make point function. Now this requires us to pass the latitude and the longitude. So the latitude goes up and down. So that's going to be our rows field. And then longitude goes left to right, so that's going to be our column field. And then click on OK. That's all there is to it. Now if I double click on that, notice I now get 100 dots on the map. That simple, right? We didn't have to do any complex calculations. Very, very simple. I'm going to change my mark type from a map to a square, just to help you see them a bit better. And notice they all went to one central point. That's because I need to add my percentage field from my waffle chart onto the detail to go ahead and split that up. And it looks like uh, I forgot to pick square, I picked circle, so let me change that to square. And there we go. So what we wanna do now though, is we wanna color code the squares that represent the percentage for that region. So I'm gonna filter down to the central region. And if I look back over here, we should get 22%. So we're gonna create another calculated field and let's call it uh, percent to color. So in this calculation, it's going to be the percent of total sales. And is that less than our percentage field, right? So that's our zero to 100 field. But notice we get the 
aggregate non-aggregate error message. So we need to wrap our percentage field in some type of aggregation. It doesn't matter which one. So I'll just use the max function. Click on OK. And let's drag that new true false field onto the color shelf. And we have 22 blocks colored. You see down here, we've got 22 blue blocks. Perfect, right? But we need to go ahead and get a big fat label on this one, right? I want to put a label right in the middle. Now, when you build a regular waffle chart, right, by putting column on the columns and row on the rows, it's very difficult to get the mark rate in the middle. But with map layers, it's super, super simple. So I'm going to create a new calculated field. I'm going to call this my uh, percent label. And here I'm going to use the make point function again. But the middle of my waffle chart is 5.5 and 5.5, right? That's exactly the middle of my waffle chart. So that's the make point function coming in handy again. Click on OK, and this is the beauty of map layers. I can now drag that field onto the marks layer, and you'll see I get a tiny dot here in the middle of the map. Over here on the marks card, let's change the label to a text shelf. And let's drag our percent of total sales field onto the text shelf. And there we go, it says 22%. We'll come back and format that in a minute. But notice how you can click on it, right? I don't want my users to be able to click on it. So because this is a map layer, I can go ahead and click on the drop down next to the percentage label and disable the selection. So that means they can't click on that, right? It doesn't do anything. So I want to do the same thing with my waffle. So let's go ahead and disable the selection. All right, so on our waffle, let's go ahead and click on the color shelf and let's give it a uh, maybe a white border and let's turn the halo off. Now we're almost done. We need the blue marks to be at the top. So let's go up to the uh, map menu at the top, go down to background maps and we're gonna turn them off and watch what happens. It turns it into a scatter plot. Isn't that great? This is absolutely fantastic. And now we've used map layers on a scatter plot. Crazy. If I wanted to, I could add another map layer. So let's say, for example, I want my waffle point on there another time. But this time I want it to be a circle. And I'll go ahead and put my percentage onto the, uh, onto the detail shelf. And I could make these bigger, right? I can put them outside of my squares, perhaps, right? Something like that. And then I can move the layers around. So now I've got my squares inside circles. So because I've created that map layer first and then turned the map off, I can now continue to use map layers in the chart. But I don't want that there, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it. Now we want the blue to be at the top, so I'm going to right click on my axis on my latitude and choose edit axis. And I'm going to flip it around. You can't do that on a map, but you can do it on a scatter plot. So we're going to go ahead and hide the headers for both the rows and the columns. We're going to get rid of all of the grid lines, so let's go up to, uh, let's just right click and choose format. Go to our lines and turn our grid lines off. And back on the lines, I forgot to turn my axis rulers off. We can now increase the size of our squares. Let's maybe drag it over to the next tick and see what that looks like. Let's go to our marks card and uh, click on text because we want our percentage to be a bigger number. So let's click on the three dots. Let's maybe make it, let's see if it'll let us do 36 point and maybe bold, right? Something like that. Let's hit apply. And there we go. Perfect. So we've now created a waffle chart for the central region. Let's move that to the columns. And notice now we have our number perfectly in the center for each region. Maybe we want to go ahead and change the color. So I'll double click on my color shelf. Let's leave the falses as blue. And let's uh, maybe make the trues a light gray and click on OK, and there. Looks really, really good. So let's now stick this into a dashboard. I'm going to create a new dashboard, and I'm going to just drag this sheet in, and it doesn't look too great. Let's go ahead and remove this object on the right-hand side. We don't need the color shelf. Uh, and we could change the title. We'll just leave it as a default title for now, but let's shrink up the size of the dashboard, right? And you'll see it getting closer and closer to a waffle. Okay, so 400, 300 is a bit too close, so probably somewhere in the middle, maybe 350. And there you go. You have a perfect waffle chart using map layers.